Hey folks, just a short recap on Starship Flight 10. The launch finally happened on August the 26th at around 6.30pm Central Time after two scrubs, one due to ground system issues and the other due to the weather. All of Super Heavy's 33 Raptor engines lit up without issue, and after reaching max Q and a successful hot staging, the booster started its return. One centre engine was intentionally shut down during descent, so she came in a bit faster than usual. However, the booster came down, hovered and splashed into the Gulf as planned. Meanwhile, the Starship upper stage soared into a suborbital arc, hit its planned speed and get this, deployed eight Starlink simulator satellites in space, marking the first successful payload deployment. It even reignited one of its Raptors mid-flight, and that's only the second time SpaceX has done that. Re-entry though was a bit intense, heat shield and aft flaps took a serious beating, and there was even an aft skirt explosion during descent. But despite the damage, the ship performed its flip manoeuvre, performed a landing burn and splashed into the Indian Ocean and well within the landing zone. This is a big win for SpaceX after a painfully rough patch. Flight 10 nailed every major objective. Lift off, payload deployment, engine relay and a controlled splashdown. The heat shield did seem a bit more crispy than we've seen in the past and we're unsure why at this stage, but the data gathered on heat shield durability, structure and engine out recovery is critical as SpaceX iterates towards a fully reusable system. So that's Starship Flight 10 and the last we'll see of Block 2, and it's fair to say a relatively triumphant end to this iteration. Thanks for watching and until the next time, in the words of the big guy himself, stay angry about space.